Arlene Cardenas, a typical day during her seven-week stay at the Sorrentino's Compassion House, was not complete without a Skype call to her daughter, who she left in the Yukon. I have a two-year-old, so, and um, I still get emotional thinking about, you know, having to leave her and my family. I stayed here twice. Um, the first time was when I met up with my doctor. Um, and did some tests, and I stayed here for a week. And then when I did get my radiation schedule, I came back in May and stayed here for seven weeks. During Arlene's stay, her daughter Sophia became a well-known honorary member of the house. The guests here and um, the staff here knew about my daughter already. The sponsors and the board members, when they were here during the open house, they were asking about um, how my daughter was. The relaxed nature of the Compassion House also made her stay a bit easier. After the whole radiation thing that I went through, I said it's something that I wouldn't want to undergo again or not even wish at anyone, not even my worst enemy, because it was just gruesome. You, you can see how beautiful and how modern the house is, but on top of the physical, um, aspects of it. It's the camaraderie that you built here. You stay with these women and all of us understand each other. We, we chat, we pull each other up, especially if we have our down times and we're just battling and we're away from home. But then you find a family here. Yeah, I prepared myself to be away from her and my family for that period, but I didn't realize it was going to be a lot easier because of what was provi provided for. The low-cost stay and amenities like free internet for guests are made possible through the work of volunteers like 15-year-old Morgan Reed, whose quest to raise funds for the Sorrentino's Compassion House included her very own pair of clippers. I, I decided I was gonna shave my head before grade nine grad. Um, I, it was very impulsive. And for a week I fundraised and we raised $2,035. Sorrentino's Compassion House exists because people in the community, corporations, individuals support us. We don't receive ongoing government funding. So when someone like Morgan um, does a fundraiser and helps us out, it's amazing. That's what actually keeps the house going. Morgan raised funds through her Facebook and GoFundMe pages, but also received some unexpected gifts from local members of the community. The best moments was I was on the bus and I was telling my friend what I was doing and the person beside me actually tapped me on the shoulder and handed me a five dollar bill and said here it's for you know the charity it was so great if you want these things to still exist you have to donate to them and you have to get involved in your community and reach out and just get things going you can't wait and let other people do it <laughs> we have great appreciation of uh, of what uh, is given to us both Arlene and Morgan are volunteers at Fashion for Compassion, a charity fashion show produced for the Sorrentino's Compassion House. For this and other volunteer opportunities, visit the Compassion House's website at www.compassionhouse.ca. For Go Edmonton, I'm Canry Wright.